CEO Joy Berlin cancels Meg's name from Critics' Choice Awards list. How come? The Critics' Choice Awards are responsible for honoring the best works in film and television, but this year they're also making headlines for a shocking exclusion. Meghan Markle, the former actress turned royal, turned Netflix producer, was banned from the prestigious event by none other than the CEO of the Critics' Association, Joey Berlin. Joey Berlin personally removed Meghan Markle's name from the guest list and directed his staff not to invite her or her husband, Prince Harry, to the awards ceremony, which will air live on The CW Sunday, January 14th. Berlin's decision was motivated by his disdain for the Meghan Markle and Harry controversial documentary, Harry and Meghan. It's nominated for streaming nonfiction series Best Line. Harry and Meghan premiered on Netflix in November 2023. It chronicles the couple's journey from the royal wedding in 2018 to their decision to step back from royal duties and move to California in 2020. The documentary features candid interviews with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, as well as their friends and allies who defend them against the criticism and backlash that they face from the media, the public, and the royal family. However, not everyone was impressed with the documentary, which many saw as a selfish and biased depiction of the couple's struggles and achievements. Many critics have accused Meghan Markle and Prince Harry of exploiting their personal problems for sympathy and for profit, as well as tarnishing the reputation and image of the royal family. Some people even call them liars and try to manipulate public opinion in their favor. Tory Berlin is one of the critics who expressed his displeasure and disgust for Meghan Markle in her documentary. In a scathing statement, he said, Meghan Markle does not deserve to be part of the Critics' Choice Awards or any other awards for that matter. She is a disgrace to the film industry, to television, and to storytelling. She has no talent, no integrity, and no credibility. She's a fraud who used her fame and fortune to spread lies and propaganda about herself and her husband, while also attacking and insulting the royal family who did nothing else in addition to supporting and respecting them. She's not welcome here, nor is her documentary. A joke. It's an insult to the nominees and the viewers. Berlin's decision to ban Meghan Markle from the Critics' Choice Awards has sparked outrage and controversy among some members of the Critics' Association who have accused them of abuse, authorities, and violating the organization's rules and ethics. They argue that Meghan Markle and her documentary deserve to be treated fairly and objectively, and that Berlin's personal views should not interfere with the voting process or the invitation policy. They also point out that Meghan Markle has a history as a successful and respected actress, having starred in popular shows such as Suits and Fringe, and has been nominated for a number of awards, including People's Choice Award and Teen Choice Award. However, Berlin refused to back down or apologize for his decision, and instead, he had the support and approval of the majority of the Critics Association, as well as the sponsors of the Festival Network. He's also dismissed the possibility of any legal action or consequences from Meghan Markle and her team, and challenged them to sue him if they dare. He said, I did nothing wrong, and I had nothing to fear. It's my right and duty to protect the integrity and reputation of the Critics' Choice Awards and to ensure that they are not tarnished or corrupted by the likes of Meghan Markle. In her documentary, I received the support of the Critics' Choice Association, who share my vision and values and who believe in the judgment and leadership. I have the support of network sponsors, who appreciate my courage and honesty and respect my authority and my decisions. I have the law on my side, which gives me the freedom and power to decide who attends and who wins the Critics' Choice Awards. Meghan Markle and her documentary are not welcome here. They never will be. She can sue me, but she will fail. She can try to smear me, but she will fail. She can try and stop me, but she'll fail. She's nothing, and I'm everything. She's banned, and I'm the boss. The Critics' Choice Awards are expected to be a night of glitz and excitement, but also full of drama and conflict. Will Meghan Markle and Prince Harry respond to Joy Berlin's statement and banning order, or will they ignore them and focus on their other projects? Will Harry and Meghan win the award for Best Streaming Nonfiction Series, or will they lose to another contender like A Lesson in Chemistry or The Bear? And will Joy Berlin face any backlash or consequences for his controversial decision, or will he skip it and continue running the Critics' Choice Awards when he wants Tune in to The CW on Sunday, January 14th, 2024 at 7 p.m. to find out the answers to these questions and see who will take home the coveted Critics' Choice Award.